So Paper Mario is back, but a lot of the recording of the Ninja Studios got corrupted or torn or whatever. This is what I managed to salvage, and this place was pretty straightforward. We found most of the hidden ninjas, so we took that as a win and left to take care of the blue ribbon. So, Big M and Co. enter the enemy-controlled courtyard, only to realize it's too much for them to handle. They barely escape and decide to don a disguise. This one doesn't work though. Turns out the enemy doesn't like DK. So, they try the Goomba disguise, and infiltration complete. The troublesome trio make their way into the theater and take front row seats. The blue ribbon, however, is nowhere to be found. So, I mean, might as well hang out and enjoy the show. A western play starts, and already Big M is asked to be the lead and wield a big iron on his hip. Oh, is this the intermission or something? What's, uh... What's going on? Is it, why, why is the spotlights on me? Is everybody staring at me? What's going on? Why, why is everybody looking at me? Oh, I, I'll get up. Oh! The first outlaw puts up little fight. And Big M puts a notch in his gun and goes to retire to his seat. But another outlaw threatens him and he's got to deal with the outlaw known as Bechet Spike. This one has taken many lives, but today his terror will end. Another notch in the big iron on Big M's hip. And off to his seat he goes. But wait! The outlaw leader, known only as Sniff, is here for revenge. He wants the sheriff with the big iron on his head. Only one of them will walk away from this day. Both have a reputation of being the fastest shot around. Has Big M finally met his match? Or will the outlaw Sniff be brought to justice at long last? And with that, peace has been restored to this quiet town. Big M can finally retire, knowing all is well. And that concludes the Western play. The audience has moved to Theater B on the next floor. Some rival gangs appear to be fighting over this uh, lady. It is apparently up to Big M to save her and win her favor. So he does just that. The gangs are mopped up and Big M gets his girl. Back to his seat and up they go. This one, well, it's it's just ballet. Uh, something snaps in Big M and he just starts murdering all the dancers. So let's let's just move on. The gang gets to the finale and all of the actors take a bow and are applauded. Mario is invited up to take his bow, but which is interrupted by the director claiming they are the star. So Big M fights him for the title. This boss fight kind of frustrated me, honestly. So I restarted it twice before I figured out how to actually pull it off. The key is to try to use the thousand fold arms as close to the rubber guy as possible. The further away you are, uh, the less damage it does. Uh, it does a minimum of one damage at the last two tiers away from him. We then get to see the dying actor give the last monologue before he smashes that ribbon. Hell yeah, just like you guys are gonna smash that like button. <laughs> the staff of Shogun Studio gives Big M and the gang a huge party as they head out and fireworks spark Bobby's memories. They come back to him. Olivia says he's still part of the crew, so he can still come with us. And we go, we continue our adventure. We take the boat to the next area and head to the mine. They are stopped by the mad king of origami and Olivia's brother, Ollie. He expresses his discontent with our work to thwart him and drops a boulder on poor Olivia. She appears to be alive, but Bobby has an idea of how to get her out. 
off to the Princess Peach's Revenge cruise ship. Bobby knows of a piece of equipment that can help free Olivia. But they have to turn the power back on in the ship to take the elevator up to the luxury suite. They get up there, but are attacked by a massive blooper. Big M takes care of the boss and frees the crew. Bobby then retrieves a box from the safe and they return to the boulder. Big M. Uh, thanks for believing in me. And for taking me to the great sea. Sorry I was so hush-hush about what happened on that boat. And about the item in that lockbox. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell you everything now. A while back, I was traveling aboard the Princess Peach's Revenge with my bomber rats, My friends. We pitched in to share the VIP stateroom. Sure, some of us had to sleep on the floor, but... The open sea, the salty breeze, it was the best. But then the monster's blooper attacked the ship. We did our best to defend the peach, but it was too strong. That's when it happened. My fuse, she got knocked loose, flew right off the boat, and... So did I. Next thing I know, I'm in the Great Sea. Wow, that sounds pretty tragic. I'm sorry that happened. I'm not sure what happened next, but I washed up on Toad Town. No fuse, no memories, no clue. So, off I went, lost and alone on the journey to try and remember. Well, anything. That's where you and Olivia came in. And then, those fireworks we saw together at the studios, they made me remember. The fight with the blooper, my fumes, my buds. Boom, everything came back. I'm so glad those memories are back. I remember everything, including a way to rescue Olivia. See, I had a lot of buds, but I lost my bestest bud a long time ago. He got scrapped in an accident. His name was also Bomb Bomb. <laughs> Olivia would have had such a hard time telling us apart. I always kept his fuse with me to remember him by. Until the amnesia hit. So it just sat there where I left it. In the VIP stateroom on the ship. Wait, Bobby, where are you going with this? Big M. If I can save a friend like this, it means I've finally become the sort of bomb mom I've always wanted to be. This is what every bomb mom hopes for. A chance to change something for the better. To make an impact. Big M, I had so much fun traveling with you and Olivia. It's been a blast. Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. Thanks for a few spares, but and thank you, Big M. Don't tell me you mean to. Bobby, no! Everything. Olivia. Bobby's... The 
is gone. And on that note, thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe to pay respects to Bobby.